you believe it exists. And if perception is reality and we can create reality, then why is the perception not to believe the deception? Now, some things just make you go. Mm. So, me personally, I just okay. think basically you're saying um, if you know better, do better. Don't say you're you're awakened and you're still strapped on the fence. Mm. You know, so if you know better, do better. If you know that this is fallacious reasoning they're giving over here and all that, leave it there. If, they, if you believe that your COVID-19 is real, it's real. But people have been dying. People die by regular cold more than COVID-19. <laughs> like, everybody died for the last seven months is COVID-19. Right. Nobody died of cancer. Right. No DWI. You know, we, we, can't, we don't even hear statistics no more about how many people got shot and murdered. Right. You don't even hear that no more. No, everybody Everything died is COVID. Listen, we got COVID-19 bullets. Heavy. Yeah, he got hit by a bus. COVID made him walk out into the street. Yeah. No, forget suicide now. COVID nineteen. Yeah, yeah, COVID nineteen. So if no you doubt. know better, do better. That's right. just what I took from that. You know I, mean? I, I like the perception. It's a reflection of what you mentioned before. When we're talking about the habits, it's it's a process. You know, why is a perception to not believe the deception? Would say once you have the information. The transition to knowledge, to application, or wisdom, to application, then a habit. We talk about statistics. Statistically, I come from a psychological background, so I always love how our psyche works. It takes 21 consecutive experiences to create a habit. A lot of us think 21 consecutive days. So if I do this for 21 days, then it's happened. No, it's 21 experiences where it hits you, where you feel something, where it pierces you. So we feel as if, well, it's been three months. We know the truth. Right. So why are there still people doing this? Well, it, it now has to be applied. It now has to be walked out. It now has to be experienced. And experienced the same way, right. consecutively, minimum 21 times in order for it to become a habit and now a style of life. So the, the part of why is a perception not to believe the deception? I don't. I don't know if it's if we believe it or not. I believe it's the process on if we're allowing ourselves, like I said before, to be great. Mm. I'm in process. Like this is my journey. This is my life. I'm in process. I'm not there yet. That doesn't mean mean I don't believe. Right. It's just saying that I got the knowledge. I'm applying it, but it hasn't been given to me 21 times. We just saw three men. Three different perspectives of family. I'm sitting here as the woman, hearing men discuss and letting men be men from a totally different perspective. Right. It's not until I can live your life, receive that 21 times to where I can say, brother, I totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. But then we spent 15 minutes in process. And I believe that's what the deception truly is. Mm -hmm. Is that now, if we weren't mature enough to have this sort of space, and this is just for conversation's sake. This brother would say, oh, he ignorant. Right. Or he would talk to him and say, oh, that brother ignorant. It's not that. That's the deception. Right. right. That's where the devil comes in to get us to argue for 15 minutes about a process that we must have as humans in being. Natural process. Natural process. That's all it is. I'm not deceived. Right. I just had experience. I think it, to your point. Yeah, yeah, jump on in with some. To your point about uh, the belief of the deception, it goes back to what I was saying earlier, what you were saying about choices. It's consciousness versus unconsciousness. Mm -hmm. Once you are conscious of the deception, right. you have a responsibility now. That responsibility now creates a forced response or reaction, like I was saying earlier, <laughs> and that shapes the reality that you will now define the life by. So if I'm unconscious, and it's easier for me to stay that way because I won't have to make the right choices. I won't 
be responsible for my actions. I won't be accountable to the collective. I won't have um, the respect for my elders or whatever. Um, then I can stay unconscious and the deception can prevail. Mm -hmm. But once I'm enlightened and awake and consciousness moves, it requires a response, a calculated plan, a strategic move. Now my reality is shaped based on a plan. So it's all going to come down to being conscious or unconscious. Mm -hmm. And once you make that decision, then there's a responsibility, then there's going to be a reality. Oh, I love, Either I love a check, it. reality check, right. or a whole shift in your paradigm to elevate you to the vibrations that you need to be at to manifest whatever it is you've chosen off of that consciousness. What I get out.